is Rob here. We're going to be looking at a new uh, laser bore sighter. As you know, I got the uh, mid-10, the, the uh, one in with the red laser, but uh, I wanted one with a green laser. So uh, when the good folks at uh, uh, this company, and let's see if I can pronounce it, Oswishik, 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 I have no idea how to pronounce that, but you can see right there. Let me focus you here. Uh, that is our bore cider, and this one is in a green laser. So I find that green is a little better to see in the daylight, just a little bit. I, I tend to pick up green better, and I can see it better. So we thought we'd uh, get a green one. And uh, you get all of your different collets for all your different size uh, chambers there and if it's like the other one that the label this there probably tells you which is which or maybe they're just in bags <laughs> mm -hmm. there's your how to set it up with two pack board adapters so you get two packs guess so in case you lose them but anyway pretty simple there's your a target that's uh, some of these have to be calibrated but this one looks to be uh, sealed so doesn't look like there's any calibration needed on it it's uh, it does have screw uh, places there underneath the foil I guess if it was too bad out you could uh, you could reset it but uh, it comes with one uh, and an allen wrench down there and this is a uh, what size battery is that? A CR14250 battery. Let's see. Three volt, 14. So that is your battery it comes with. And to install the battery, this is a nice unit. Feels like it's got some heft to it. Uh, a lot of these with this type of laser, with this type of... Uh, battery compartment actually have a little more output I think than the uh, than the lesser ones uh, the well I dropped my battery hold on all right so your plus side goes up so this is your plus goes to the up position and we'll put our cap on this has, I like this one so much better than the, the Penty I had, which had a, a little battery compartment in there, and you rotate the little lever, and it just had a little nub that kept it from from uh, coming on. I always was, it would get bumped, and the batteries would go dead. But yeah, that's a decent looking bore cider. Uh, made out of aluminum. Looks to be pretty well machined. Uh, let's see how our laser looks down here. Oh yeah. Yes, that is a, let me focus you here. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it seems to be a nice bright, oop, I bumped the camera. Nice bright laser, that's what we wanted. I think that green will be more visible in the daylight but yeah that's a that's a good bright laser right there i'll bring it back from my hand yes i will be looking forward to using this in the next few days we have a we have a scope we're going to have to line up and uh i've already uh i didn't make a video of it y'all have watched me do enough scopes but i do have another scope and we'll be mounting it on a a rifle you've seen before and uh trying it out and we'll be using this bore cider to uh, sight it in so hopefully we'll get to that here this week sometime uh so anyway guys the oswich oswich oz cheek i don't know how you say that if you know how you tell me leave it in the comments and uh i will leave a link to this in the uh, description below if you you're interested in it seems like it's going to be a good one i'll leave the link uh but we're going to try it out a little more 
uh, before we make any judgments on it. You know, the little mid ten is a is a great little bore cider. It's uh, you've seen me use it several times, and it's got us within just you know really close to where we need to be. So definitely a good little unit is the mid ten. This one, I, I assume this one will probably be as good and more visible. So, but we're going to, we're going to try her out here in the next few days. There's the box that comes in. And, uh, just a nice little unit to add to the, uh, the arsenal of tools we already have to use to, to get these things done with. Anyway, guys, uh, if you can hit the join button below and join the Hamilton Outdoors family, uh, Give me a comment. Leave the thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, uh, feel free to subscribe. I do appreciate everybody that does. And until the next video, we'll see you guys later.